Stereoisomers are compounds that have the same molecular formula and the same bonded atoms, but yet have different three-dimensional structure such that, that the isomers are mirror images of each other. The three-dimensional structure causes a different behavior of stereoisomers in our body. For example, the compounds responsible for aroma of citrus fruit and of pine resin are stereoisomeric. They both have dedicated receptors in our nose where they are sent separately. The action of drugs also depends on stereoisomerism. Our most popular painkiller, ibuprofen, exists as two stereoisomers, but just one of them may attack the pain receptor. All amino acids and thus all proteins in our body are single stereoisomers. Our food often possesses other stereoisomeric compounds that affect our health. Lignan berries and rye contain lignans. These are further transformed in our intestine into other stereoisomeric uh, compounds that are effective against cardiovascular disease, uh, breast and prostate cancers. And soy is another source of similar beneficial isoflavonoids, uh, which we also can get from cow milk if cows has been fed with clover. In fact, breast and prostate cancers are less common in countries where the daily food uh, contain abundant quantities of lignans and flavonoids. In Finland, these diseases have become more common since the traditional lignan-rich uh, foods such as rye has been replaced by wheat and hull wheat in particularly. The development of effective drugs are coming more laborious and slower since stereoisomerism play a key role in this work. It would be important to be able to modify the stereochemical structures of compounds more easily. And this would be important particularly when responding quickly to unexpected disease caused by new flu viruses. <laughs>